Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful Jenny Floppy Sun Hat. A wide brim sun hat is a dramatic showstopper. Worked in a simple stitch, this gorgeous project is accessible to even the beginner crafter. The addition of wire in the brim adds a professional finish to be proudly worn. In the first video, I'll show you how to begin the crown of the hat. In the second video, I'll show you how we do the increases to create the brim. And in the third and final video, I'm going to show you how to add wire to make this adorable hat have so much structure. Let's get started. To make the hat, we'll be using Be So Fresh yarn, which is 100% linen sport weight yarn. It comes in colorways foam, night, and sand dollar. The hat, the Jenny hat uses sand dollar. And we're also going to be using a size F5 or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to be using 19 gauge millinery wire with a joiner for creating the stiffness in the brim. Millinery wire is a type of wire that does not kink when it's bent, and that's what gives the hat the ability to bend and be reshaped afterwards again. You can find this list of materials along with the written instructions on my website. There's a link in the video description. You can download a copy of the pattern or order a printed copy as well. And you can also order Be So Fresh yarn on my website. All of those links are also in the video description. In the first video, we did the crown of the hat and we did the walls of the hat. And now in the second video, I'm going to show you how in one round, we're going to do all the increases for the entire brim. So we're gonna do all the increases in this round and then work even for the full size of the brim. For the increase round, we're going to work two half double crochets in each stitch around. So a half double crochet is yarn over our hook, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. We're going to do that a second time in the same stitch, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through, oops, pull through all three. There we go. So now we'll repeat this all the way around. So we had 84 stitches before. At the end of this round, we'll now have 168 stitches. Okay, now that we did all the increases in that one round, we're just going to work even one half double crochet in each stitch around for the remainder of the brim. So we'll just do one stitch in each stitch. And again, don't forget that we're still working in a spiral, just like we did at the beginning of the head. If you wanted to do this in rounds that joined at the end of the round, you could, but working in a spiral is what gives us that beautiful invisible finish. So. Now we've done our increases here, and you notice it's a little bit ruffly at the end of that round. And that's because when you concentrate all your increases in one round, instead of spacing them out over the course of the, of the body of the work, it's going to be ruffled at first, and as you grow in size, it will start to flatten itself out. So you wanna continue working one half double crochet in each stitch around for the rest of your brim. My brim ends up being a four, four inches long. And then in the third and final video, I'll show you how we add the wire to the last round of stitches to finish our hat. Make sure to watch all the videos in this playlist so you can learn how to make your very own Jenny's floppy sun hat crochet pattern. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.